Hi, I'm Wade Mankowski. And my name is Astin Taferi, and we have been working under Professor Valeria Bertaco for the summer of 2013 through the SURE program. Is the long drawn out process of post silicon validation getting you down? Tired of a long time to market? Well, you're in luck because we have cutting edge research just for you. So, how do we do this? There are two parts to our project. First, we have to log signatures for a set number of signals from our processor, in our case, OpenSpark T2. But what are signatures? For our project, a signature is the time at one of a specific signal for a period of 512 cycles. Signatures will be logged every 512 cycles for the entirety of the cycles of the processor. An important factor of this project is performance. The algorithm used to log signatures was designed to take as little time as possible. Remember, we don't want to be slow. Here's how it works. We randomly select 50 to 500 signals at once, log their signatures, then feed these signatures to a machine learning algorithm, then restart this process with another set of signals. Now how does this machine learning algorithm work? The machine learning algorithm that we use is a density-based clustering algorithm called dbscan. It requires two parameters, a density criterion, or neighborhood distance, and the minimum number of points needed to form a cluster. It works by selecting a random point and seeing if there are enough points in its neighborhood to form a cluster. If so, it will then start to form the cluster and visit each of the points that were in the neighborhood to repeat the process. If there aren't enough points in the neighborhood to form a cluster, it simply moves on to the next point. We can apply this algorithm to our work by using it to cluster the signature values we obtained from the golden model, or bug-free model, of our processor. We can then map the signature values from the buggy version of our processor to these clusters and label any that don't map to a cluster as evidence of buggy behavior in this signal. Doing this for every signal in every window allows us to locate the signals that have buggy behavior and the time at which this behavior manifests. If we monitor only a handful of signals at a time, we can then iteratively locate a bug in time and space in the processor. So stop wasting time fumbling around trying to manually debug your processor. Let our project do the work for you. This state-of-the-art work is going on right now here in the Advanced Computer Architecture Lab at the University of Michigan. For more information, be sure to call now.